Elon Musk is a philanthropist, visionary, decisive, and dynamic individual who wears many hats. Last year, he even promised to buy Twitter. Not only does he run his own private space network known as SpaceX, but he has also recently launched an innovative project called Starlink. This project aims to provide consistent broadband internet service to people all around the world. However, there may be more to this project than meets the eye. Some have speculated that Elon Musk is using Starlink satellites for espionage purposes. Others are curious about Star Shield, a technology that is said to keep Russian and Chinese forces in check. In this video, we will explore the workings of Starlink and how Elon Musk is keeping his satellites busy while also investigating the true nature of Star Shield and what it means for global security. However, before we begin our video, we would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. Now let's get started. In October 2020, Elon Musk unveiled his highly ambitious system for providing low-cost, high-speed satellite internet known as Starlink. Initially designed to provide quick internet connections to rural users, the system has grown exponentially, now boasting a user base of more than 500,000 clients in less than two years. Interestingly, Starlink has found an unexpected use in the military. For several months now, Starlink terminals on the ground and satellites in orbit have been supporting communications for the Ukrainian army as it fends off Russian attacks. This is possible through an expanding network of private satellites that orbit above. Despite the frequent news coverage of Starlink satellites, there are many interesting facts about the system that are often overlooked. Currently, more than 3,000 Starlink satellites are orbiting the Earth with plans by SpaceX to launch even more in the future. The innovative constellation has numerous other applications that are both planned and already implemented. Starlink satellites frequently make headlines due to the remarkable number of launches that SpaceX is able to accomplish each year, as well as the impact the satellites have had on astronomy and their role in the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. According to a SpaceX Resources page, Starlink runs on the open-source Linux operating system. This operating system is also used in the larger Starlink 2.0 satellite, which is a successor to its predecessor. Recently, the Federal Aviation Administration granted SpaceX permission to orbit up to 7,500 Starlink 2.0 satellites. Reportedly, the second generation of Starlink satellites is both larger and more powerful than the first generation. They weigh in at 2,755 pounds in contrast to the first generation's 573 pounds. These larger Starlink satellites will eventually be launched into orbit with the help of SpaceX's enormous new Mars and Moon rockets, known as the Starship, which is currently under development and slated for an orbital test in the near future. Interestingly, Starlink satellites use lasers for communication. In fact, all future Starlink satellites will be equipped with laser crosslinks enabling them to communicate with one another. By leveraging laser links, Starlink satellites can now communicate and share data with each other, reducing the need for a ground station. SpaceX Chief Operating Officer Gwen Shotwell announced this breakthrough at the 36th Annual Space Symposium in 2021. With this advancement, the Starlink constellation is able to distribute internet traffic worldwide without relying on ground-based internet networks to receive signals. This is especially significant as it will enable internet access to be beamed to polar regions, a topic that will be further explored once SpaceX begins providing service on Mars. The laser crosslinks technology has paved the way for more efficient and reliable communication within the Starlink network. The Mars Declaration of Independence refers to a clause in the Starlink Terms of Service that grants the company complete independence from any authority on Earth. This declaration is applicable to services performed on Mars or during transit to Mars via Starship or other spacecraft. Under these terms, all parties recognize Mars as a free planet and acknowledge that no Earth-based government has jurisdiction or sovereignty over operations on Martian soil. Any conflicts that may arise will be resolved following self-governing principles established in good faith at the time of the Martian settlement. This clause highlights the unique legal and political considerations that arise as humanity continues to explore and potentially settle on other planets. Although SpaceX has made efforts to minimize the visibility of Starlink satellites, they can still unusually appear in the sky 
often forming visible satellite trains as they move toward their orbits. Despite attempts to address this issue, local news stations are still inundated with questions from surprised observers. These sightings have attracted media attention and have even been mistaken for UFOs, causing concerns about the impact on astronomy and the risk of being misinterpreted. In response, the International Astronomical Union has called on the United Nations to take action to protect the night sky from the potential impact of Starlink constellations. The impact of these satellite trains on the darkness of the night sky and the possibility of being mistaken for UFOs highlights the need to balance technological advancements with environmental and societal considerations. It has been reported that a group of Chinese scientists at the Northwest Institute of Nuclear Technology recently published a document outlining various methods for destroying or jeopardizing Starlink, including the use of nuclear explosions. The researchers claimed that a 10 megaton nuclear explosion would generate enough energy to destroy satellites in space. Furthermore, the residual radiation from the debris could cause direct damage to spacecraft moving through it, potentially resulting in their destruction or failure. This alarming information was published in the Chinese Journal of Nuclear Techniques and has raised concerns about the potential risks associated with space activities. It also highlights the need for international cooperation and responsible conduct to ensure the safety and security of space activities for all. Starlink's capabilities are not limited to providing high-speed internet to remote areas. It also has military applications. The U.S. Air Force has utilized the Constellation in live fire drills and provided connectivity to military equipment. In addition to the Ukrainian military's extensive use of Starlink during Russia's ongoing invasion, the U.S. military has also found valuable applications for the technology. In a joint exercise in 2020, the U.S. Air Force and SpaceX worked together to use information from Starlink to shoot down a drone and a cruise missile, demonstrating the satellite's potential for military applications. These military applications highlight the versatility and utility of Starlink technology in different contexts beyond its primary purpose of providing internet connectivity. While Starshield will offer greater security than Starlink, it is not intended to be weaponized. According to SpaceX's Starshield page, the project will only provide high-insurance cryptographic capabilities necessary to host classified payloads and process data securely while meeting the strictest government requirements. The Starshield project is designed to provide the American military and related organizations with the security needed to handle sensitive information in space. It would be extremely challenging to outfit Starlink or Starshield with weapons that could be fired at the planet or other satellites. This would go against international agreements like the Outer Space Treaty, which prohibits using weapons of mass destruction in orbit. While projects like Rods from God have been proposed in the past, these are not feasible or practical options for space-based weapons. The use of weapons in space would create significant risks for other satellites and the International Space Station as well as the potential for debris that could damage other satellites or pose hazards to Earth. As such, it is unlikely that Starlink or Starshield will ever be weaponized. SpaceX's website states that its Starlink technology and launch capability are used to support national security operations, highlighting the availability of end-to-end -end data encryption on its service that is available today. Meanwhile, Elon Musk, who recently purchased Twitter, has faced criticism for his vocal opinions. Many are concerned about the platform becoming a battleground for conflicting worldviews. Despite increasing competition with local electric vehicle makers, Tesla, which makes up the majority of Musk's wealth, achieved record sales of its vehicles in China in September. It is important to note that while there have been criticisms and concerns regarding Elon Musk's tweets and potential conflicts with China, there is no evidence to suggest that these issues directly impact SpaceX's Starlink technology or operations. SpaceX continues to launch Starlink satellites and provide internet connectivity services to customers, including the U.S. military, and has not announced any plans to change course. As with any company operating on a global scale, there may be geopolitical challenges and considerations to navigate, but it is unclear how these will ultimately impact SpaceX and its operations. Does this suggest that these world leaders are intimidated by Musk? To stay updated on the life of the real super genius prodigy Elon, please hit the subscribe button.
Thank you and see you next time.